Hello, I'm the creator of ChallengeU.com and I want to show you how you can make your own online shockwave games for free using the Amazer software at ChallengeU.com. We developed ChallengeU.com as a place where you can come and create your own 3D games, post them online, have other members play your games, vote on them, comment on them. You can also send challenges to your friends. Uh, email challenges, they can come back, build their own. Uh, it's a fun place just to chat and to challenge each other. Uh, the Amazer software lets you create some pretty powerful maze type games. Uh, let me jump into there right now. So this is the editor, the Amazer editor. And what you have here is a 2D representation, topographical representation of your maze, level by level. Over here, on the right side, is a 3D representation that's updated in real time. So let me just do the very basics and I'll draw a wall and you'll see in both windows what happens. As I'm drawing the wall, it is showing up in both windows. Now each wall has a blue side and I'll grab the character and move him and turn him around using WASD controls and a red side. And if you see over on the right bottom area here, you have wall properties. This is where properties are for everything that's dragged into the maze. Everything is drag and drop for creating a game with a mazer. There's no programming involved. So now I can change the texture of the red side and the blue side. I can make it bars or stone. I'll leave it with bars. That's interesting. Now I'll look at the blue side, I'll turn the character around, and I'll make the blue side bars. Now if you want to see more of a first person view, you can either hit camera angle or press E. And you can walk around in your maze as you're creating it. So the object of this game, it is meant as a maze type game, but it could be a scavenger hunt as well is you put a start line in, as I'll do here, and you put a finish line in, and I'll put a way out here, let me change my view again, and the simple object is to get from the start line to the finish line in the fastest time, but everything else you put in between on 10 levels is up to you. Put in ramps and ladders and ice men and chasers and doors and keys and holes, platforms, diamonds, you can change the music, change the theme. So there are thousands of mazes right now posted on the site by our members that you can play to get a lot of inspiration before you try to make your own. The drawing pad itself, you can zoom in, which will double the size of the drawing pad. If you want to pan around, you can either move the character or you can move an object. Objects are selected by right-clicking. So if I right-click on it, you'll see the properties over to the right-hand side. Now I'll show the properties for that finish line. The finish line is a special case. There are two properties, all diamonds and just finish. If you select all diamonds, then the player has to get all of the diamonds you place in the maze before they can go to the finish line. If you click on just finish, then all they have to do is find the finish line and the diamonds are just a bonus. Let me load one of my games. Let me load Glass Tower 2 into the editor. Now this one's pretty involved but let me see six levels. So I'm on level six of six right now. That's where I decided to start you in the game. Now I can either press up or down level here, or I can press R and F on the keyboard. I usually use keyboard controls to go between the levels. And you'll see that the drawing pad is showing the view on that level as I change through it. It also shows when you're on the second level, for example, you can see all of the walls, ramps, and ladders 
grayed out from the first level. So that helps you build structures on top of structures. So let me go back up to the finish the start line. I'll press E to get into more of a first person view. And if you'd like to navigate through your maze, you can either use the standard WASD controls or if you press T on the keyboard, you release the mouse and it's now, or actually take over the mouse, and you have first person shooter controls with the mouse rotating the character, excuse me, rotating the character and W forward, S back, A is strafe left, D is strafe right. And you can navigate through your maze as you're working on it. So in real time, for example, I could decide to click on this diamond by right clicking on it and change its value from 60 seconds, 15, 5 to none. I could click on the platform, make it larger, smaller, change its texture, or even delete it. I could, for example, look at a wall on this level, and that's the blue side. I could change it to stucco or bark. Here's a sign. These are fun to add to your mazes. I could right click on the sign, clear out the test text and add something else. And also change the direction, forward, back, left, or right for the sign. Now as you're creating a maze, you can preview it at any time by clicking preview. And this will allow you to hear the music in the maze. Everything's animated. So you can play your maze. You can't finish your maze in preview mode, but you can get the diamonds. You can be hit by the ice men. But you can go through the entire maze as if you're playing. Oh, you got me anyway. But when you're done with your maze, You want to click on Save Maze, and I would save often, uh, just as in any application, to save as often as you can. You'll have a lot of time to devote into this, and the internet can kind of be, you know, the browser can kind of be quirky and quit on you sometimes. But after it's saved, you go back to My Games, and then you'll want to click on Change Settings. And mine's already published and advertised. I will, I'll change that just for the sake of example. So I'll update this. This is the area where you put in a description. So I'll enter in a description for your game. And then when you're ready for other people to see your maze, you have to publish it. So when you're ready to show your game to others, publish it. They will not be able to play your game until it is published. You can still make changes to your game. That's true at any time. You can always make changes. So I'll update this. Now after it's published, I can now choose to advertise it, meaning it will be displayed on the Play Games page at Challenge U. It'll be an advertised game. And you have to have a description before you can advertise it. But now other members can play your game. So I'll click Advertise. And it will appear then on the Play Games page. And in my case, it's already there as Glass Tower 2. It'll show my votes, my plays, the date of the last save from the description, and give people a chance to play it. So this is just a quick demonstration. I hope you come to the site at challengeyou.com and join and try to build one for yourself. You don't need to join right away. You can play as many games as you want without joining. You can play around with the editor as much as you want. You just can't save without being a member. But please come and try it out. And we have other videos online if you'd like to see those and to learn a little bit more. But I think you'll learn a lot just by playing other people's games or chatting with them in the game chat. Thank you very much.